Hi signs, Aries, Sag, Leo. Welcome back to my channel, my lovely fire signs. Thank you for being here with me today. We're going to be looking at when is a reconciliation on the cards here for you. So if you've got an ex or someone that's gotten away and you want them back and you're wondering if the universe is going to give you another chance, we're going to check that out here today. So I'm going to be using the Rider Waite deck for private readings. Please feel free to reach out directly and we can arrange that for you. Otherwise, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing and also signing up to the channel for membership. Let's get into this and see what's coming up. Is there a reconciliation on the cards and when will this take place? Okay, we've got Leo season, so potentially July, August, March with Aries, um, March, April. Okay, so from these cards, I feel like a reconciliation is in the distant future rather than in the immediate future. It still seems to be a while away because things seem to be fresh still or you both have to go on some sort of journey before you can come back together. Uh, the magician is single, he's alone and he keeps his options open. So I don't know if this is like right now the universe is telling me you both need to be away from each other. You need to be single, you need to live your life, you know, you need to take those trips, you need to um, socially engage, you need to go overseas, you need to take that job offer, you need to have those other romantic connections. It's like you both have your own individual journeys right now and the timing is not immediate because it takes time for the, it, it's going to take time for that journey to play out for both you and for them. So Aries and Leo, you have come up here. Sag, you're here too with those wands energies, um, but I'm seeing an epiphany will happen for someone and then they're going to make their way back to you. But that epiphany can only happen when they're truly away from you, like no contact, they're doing, they're, they're going out, they're doing things because they need to see what life is like without you. But I feel like with the two of wands, I get that anyone they are going to meet, they're going to compare them to you. Notice how he's like, he's got this pentacle, right? And this one's elevated on a pedestal. This is you, fire signs. So you've, I don't know what you've done to this person, but you've set the bar quite high. And anyone that's going to meet, anyone that's going to sort of date your, this person, your person here, after you both have dated, they're going to have some big shoes to fill. That's what I'm getting. Because the magician is, he's rare. Okay. And you are coming up as that magician kind of energy. So you've impacted their life more than you believe you have, or more than you're ready to admit, or ready probably more, um, more than this person is ready to admit. You've made an impact on them. But now I feel like they need to sit with this thought, this decision, however you guys ended things. Uh, they need to sit with it and, and dwell on it. Think about it. Because they need that time to think. They're going to need closure and I feel like they're going to come back. When they do come back, it may be online. So I'm, I'm thinking social media, an online message, a chat forum, instant messenger, Facebook messenger, Twitter. It could be like a comment they make. I do, or they may like a photo. It's like they're going to do it where everyone can see with the world watching. So I think it could be like online. Could be You might even connect on a dating app. So I think that's going to open the doors for reconciliation. But again, I'm seeing you'll have to be patient and it's going to happen in the distant future rather than like in the next few days. Um, so it could happen in a couple of years maybe. Mm. Yeah, I'm seeing I'm seeing it's it's going to take time and I, I for some reason I think it's like a few years could be like a few months mm, but I think more years than anything else. The strength card is telling me they don't have the strength to reconnect with you right now uh or they don't have the strength to be in a relationship maybe. It's telling me that they're working on their strength, but they don't have it. They're not available for that. They're still working on that. I also feel like they've suffered badly with their self-esteem. They do feel lonely with the Nine of Swords, but I feel like the Nine 
is telling me they're still thinking about how things end how things ended between the both of you or they're still like replaying that in their mind for some reason it's never sort of left them so they're still dealing with that uh and I feel like they may not necessarily be showing it. Don't be fooled by the way they're coming across. If they're out there projecting to the world, they're super happy and they've met someone new. And, you know, we don't always know what's going on behind closed doors, right? And you don't know just because in that moment they look happy doesn't mean that they genuinely are. Doesn't mean that they're always that happy. So, you know, be careful what you see on social media because it might not be 100% legit. Okay, might not be overly genuine what you're seeing because the magician is the trickster. Now, he's known to manipulate, and I do feel like with the cards that are coming up here, when this person does reconnect, they may have someone else next to them, or they may be trying to sort of test the waters. The magician sort of plays around for our for his entertainment, so just be careful. You'll know, um, fire signs, you'll know when this person comes back, if they mean business or they're just in it, you know, just to, just to have some fun, not really commit to anything. The magician is non-committal. And I do want to say for some of you, I hate to say this, but they'll possibly disappear again or ghost you again if they have before. The magician is there one minute and gone the next day. So if they do reappear, they may do so for a few days, a week, and then you won't hear from them again. They may come back eventually in time. And again, they may do the same cycle here. So it's just like a word of warning not to fall for that. And if you're going to see a pattern of that, you know, don't give them the time of day. They'll just keep doing it. Okay, otherwise they keep on, they'll keep pulling this Houdini act on you and it's not going to go down well because they're not showing permanence. Um, so if they do come in sort of dribs and drabs, I feel like they may come and go. It's a more coming and going energy and they have bigger commitments, I feel right now, like travel or, you know, doing all the things they couldn't do when they were younger or they were always in relationships. So now they're experiencing this element of freedom they haven't had for a long time or they haven't had in a while. And now all of a sudden, you know, they feel like they need to play catch up with that. So I feel like that's where, that's where their priorities are. But like I said, Aries season and Leo season have come up for a potential reconnection or reunion. So you may be added by them. You might be messaged by them. You might even reach out yourself. Um, and that's when contact will be made. Uh, you might have an it could be like an online relationship here as well so if this is someone you knew for a dating app or like an online connection or a long distance connection um that person's coming through quite uh quite strongly here for you so um i will leave it at that fire signs a thank you again everyone for watching it really does mean a lot um hopefully we shall be chatting again very very soon so thank you again everyone and um all the best uh and bye for now